thank you to the fellowship, to the mentors, um, to Joshua. It's been an amazing year. I needed this, um, especially you, my mentor, Jill Connell, for your enthusiasm and being a cheerleader when I said, hey, I think I might want to write a novel about educators for this project. This is a crazy idea, but you were supporting every step along the way. And thank you to everyone else who helped me um, on my journey, my book club, my early readers, my husband, my writing group. Um, there's an author here tonight, Stevie. Thank you for your advice. Um, it was a huge collaboration and I'm very proud um, to be talking about it tonight. Um, I've been teaching in Inglewood since 2010 at um, Alternative High School at a Leadership Academy and this year with e-learning. I teach language arts, so I love writing. So I thought, what can I do this year? I'm at home, working from home. Um, so I thought I'll write. Um, and I got really involved in the union um, before this fellowship, but this fellowship helped me feel more confident and develop my voice even more. So this is a picture of um, me flexing my voice with Senator Jeff Bridges, who um, represents Inglewood and Littleton teachers came together as well to talk to him about our stories about CMAPs and why we wanted it to be canceled. Um, and we felt heard um, and it was a really powerful moment to come together virtually and share our voice with him. Uh, this is from the virtual lobby day that many folks have already mentioned, also a powerful experience to get to share our educator voice. And um, even though I didn't go to the Capitol in person, I still got to check in again with Senator Bridges and um, also Representative Froelich. Um, and we shared all about our budget and what Inglewood schools would do if we were fully funded. We'd pay teachers, we would buy all kinds of amazing resources for our students and classrooms, go on more field trips, um, which leads to all of the issues that we experience. And I, I tried to turn that into a, a creative story and share um, educator voice through a novel. Um, I hope educators will read it and just find connection. We're not alone. We are stronger together and in community. And I hope other people will read it and gain perspective about this crazy job that we do. Um, I worked really hard on weekends to get it done. Um, and I had a writing group that helped me along the way. And it has come to fruition, um, no pun intended, but here is the novel just finished and now published in print and as an ebook on amazon.com. So it's called Educate because the main character's name is Kate. And it's just um, something I've never thought would happen, but the fellowship helped me along the way. I have an author profile on amazon.com. It's, it's wild and crazy, um, but I'm really grateful that I got something to focus on this year. Um, the summary of my book, it's about Kate Kate, who's battling apathetic students, middle school antics, and all the extra duties a teacher must manage at her middle school. She's trying her best, but she's struggling, right? Like so many of us can relate to. She finds solace with her partner and her cat, and then her life turns upside down when the coronavirus changes everything. She was asked to do the impossible. She finds her voice through her educators union. Um, I do put a lot in from 2020 and 21, so you may look at it as a little time capsule and read it when you're ready and it won't uh, <laughs> cause too much PTSD for you, hopefully. Um, so next steps are of course to, to promote it. I'm gonna have a couple of book signing events, promote it through social media, try to do some um, publication through local, um, like the Inglewood Herald. And you can help spread the word, just search on Amazon. And if you like it, it makes a great gift. Um, and we might maybe try to make it a, a book club next year through Copilot. Um, but I learned so much through this fellowship. I learned, even though I thought it might be an independent writing project, I had to collaborate. I had to get feedback from other writers. This is a picture of the Lighthouse Writing Workshop. I met every month with these amazing writers. Um, I met with authors over Zoom and in person, um, and I learned that edu educator voice is critical. Um, the fellowship kept me accountable with check-ins, and I looked at this as like my deadline to get this done. Um, and I also learned um, that there's power in the collective. Next steps for me along with this novel will be um, being a part of the glue team in Inglewood. 
and just continuing to use that educator voice. Um, I spoke at the CA delegate assembly, which was about like 400 people and it was really scary, but I got to talk about how this fellowship is so important and it really has shaped my school year for the better, made me a stronger leader, gave me um, a project, some structure and connected with an amazing group. So thank you all very much.